If you're building websites or landing pages or sales funnels in system.io and you don't know about the www redirects issue, then it's a high chance your pages are affected by this issue and you could just be merrily going about your business, not realizing that some of your customers can't actually access your website's new pages when they try to search for your URL in the search browser. What the fuck? Which is a problem. Don't worry, in this video, I've got a quick, simple fix. Put this right for you in about 30 seconds. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. So if you stick with me to the end of the video, I'll show you exactly how to put this right. First of all, let me show you exactly what I mean about this issue. Then you can go and check your own websites in your system to account, see if you also have this issue, and then just apply my simple quick fix and you're good to go. So in your system.io account, if you head over to the top right and click on settings, then custom domains, you'll see a list of the custom domains you have set up in your account here. Now, all of these custom domains, I've already fixed the issue on all of them except for the top one. So I can show you guys now how to put that right. Now, you'll notice in system.io, when you set up your custom domains, you have to use the www.version and then enter your custom domain here. Now, the reason why most system.io users don't know about this issue is because they set up their custom domain, connect it to their website or their funnel or landing page. And then as long as you're using the www.version here, so I click on this, it is going to open up the website I've connected to this custom domain. So at this point, you might be thinking, yep, yeah, it's all good, it's all working correctly. And yeah, it kind of is as long as the person enters www. for your domain. But if someone just enters your website address without the www, which is quite common, they won't be able to access your website, which is not great. So currently I'm using Chrome browser here. So if I show you this first of all in Chrome, I'm going to test it entering this URL without the www in Chrome. And it is going to resolve because Chrome has cached the website. So this is where you test it and you think, oh yeah, it's working. I go here now in the search bar and I enter the domain name. It will resolve to www.version. And that's just because my Chrome browser has cached this website. Whichever browser you're currently using, it's going to cache the page. So go and check it in a different browser or clear your cache first and then test it. So now just to show you the issue, I'm going to use Oprah browser because I don't want to clear my cache right now in Chrome because I've just got things set up right now. But now if we go here and I enter the domain again, you'll see an error page. Now this is the problem. If I open a new browser and I write www. and then the domain name, it will resolve to the page. So what we need to do is we need to create a redirect to the www version of the website. And it's very quick and easy to fix. So in order to fix this issue, you need to head over to the registrar where you've purchased your custom domain and set up a redirect. So for me, I've got this custom domain here. I purchased it in Namecheap. Now, if you're using a different registrar like GoDaddy, for example, or someone else, the process is exactly the same. It's just the interface is going to look a little bit different, but do follow along because you'll be able to figure it out. So in Namecheap, you just select your domain on the right hand side, click manage. And then in this section, make sure you're under the domain tab here. We need to come down to this section here that says redirect domain. Now we need to click add redirect. And in the source URL, we need to enter your custom domain. So I'm just going to copy it here and then paste in here. And now we want to redirect to the destination URL, which is the www version. But first we need to enter HTTPS forward slash then www dot and then your custom domain. And now click the check mark and you're good to go. Now it might take a minute or two or a couple of minutes until this is fully resolved. And then we head back to your browser and test that it's working. So I could open up an incognito window here in Chrome, but I'm just going to head back over to Oprah just because that's what I was using before to show you guys. And we'll test it again. So here we are back in Oprah and now I'm going to open an incognito window. Now I enter the non www version of my website and hopefully it should resolve to the www version. And there you go, all working correctly. And you can see it resolved and redirected www.version and we can access the site, no problem. Now I recommend you head over to your system.io account and test all of your custom domains that you have set up over there. And then just go ahead and set up the redirects just as I showed you in this video. Now, just as a quick side note, if you're still on the free plan of system.io and you're ready to upgrade to a paid plan, then you can get 40% off via the link in the description below this video. And I also have a few bonuses on offer at the moment for a limited time when you upgrade via that link. So go and check that out and you can see the bonuses that I'm offering as well. So there you go. That's how you fix the redirect issue in system.io. Now, if you've got value out of this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you need more help with System.io, and I've got lots of step-by-step -step tutorials on System.io on my channel, and you can see my System.io playlist right here.